Government don't call you like, hey, man, my car broke down. I had to, you know, spend my rent money to fix it. Government don't do that. You know what the government does? They pay on time every single month like clockwork. If you'd like to finance this, you could probably go to hell because, of course, you can't finance it, folks. There's like eight inches of water on the floor in the basement. It's $19,000. A freaking Kia Optima costs way more than this house. Call up my team by clicking the notes around this video, and they will talk to you about how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one in a more intimate capacity not intimate like that settle down ladies i'm a married man welcome to the investment properties for sales show folks thing is selling at or above list we are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education we take you to the video tour won't watch tv giving it to you straight I was just talking to this local landlord. He lives in Youngstown. And you know what he told me, folks? He told me uh, that he just got done uh, going to a meeting last week uh, with the housing authority that runs Section 8 over there. And Section 8, according to this dude, has 500 tenants waiting, waiting in line right now uh, so they can utilize their voucher on a house or apartment in Youngstown. They are dealing with an incredible shortage of government subsidized housing out there, right? We have too many tenants, not enough houses that are accepting Section 8 vouchers, man. What are we gonna do? I'll tell you what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this house right here, 511 Sherwood Avenue, got it priced for you guys at 199, right? We're gonna take this house, and you guys are going to go ahead and renovate this some bitch. And you guys are going to create a win-win. You're going to help one of those 500 tenants who doesn't have a house ready for them. And then you're going to be rewarded with a ton of government subsidized money, right? To the tune of 1200 bucks a month is what you guys should be pulling in after you renovate this sucker. Get it Section 8 ready. Now, if you cruise through the majority of the house, it does need a full rehab, obviously. But it's really not that bad. Yeah, it's, it's really like a lot of cosmetic stuff. Um, I would say between the main floor and the upstairs, uh, if you're a handy person or you got contracting on lock over there, you could probably, I would say, handle everything on the main floor or the upstairs in the 25 to 30K range. And then when you cruise on down to the basement, though, you do have to be cognizant of this. We have a... Uh, water main leak somewhere, right? As you can see, we actually have standing water on the floor, right? So you're going to have to button that up, and then I would assume you're probably going to need to replace that furnace and that hot water tank. So all told, I, I really think you're going to be anywhere uh, between like thirty and forty, right? Thirty and forty thousand dollars to get this sucker rocking and rolling, right? So you spend between thirty and forty, and then the nineteen. Um, to actually purchase the thing. So what is that? Between 50 and 60K all in, you're going to end up with a fully renovated, ready to rock and roll Section 8 property that's got a freaking line of 500 people trying to give you 1200 bucks a month of government subsidized rent, folks. I love the Section 8 program when we're buying properties in these low-income neighborhoods, right? Because here's the deal, right? Nobody's going to argue with you and say that it's not hard to get tenants to pay rent when you're investing in low-income housing, right? If you guys watch the Tenants from Hell show here on Holton Wise TV, we show you guys the worst of the worst, right? When you get a low-income neighborhood, it's tough. That's why these properties are so darn cheap, right? It's tough to manage these people, okay? So the cheat code, the code to success, the way that landlords can actually survive and not only survive, they can thrive in these low-income neighborhoods is when they eliminate the biggest issue, and that issue is not getting your rent. You get all these folks that have that government-guaranteed rent, they come in, you're getting 1200 bucks a pop, and guess what? The government does not ever call you like, hey, Billy the landlord, I was sick, and I didn't go to work, and then the boss fired me because he's a jerk, and now I can't pay rent. Government don't do that. Government don't call you like, hey, man, my car broke down. I had to you know, spend my rent money to fix it. Government don't do that. You know what the government does? They pay on time every single month like clockwork. So if you guys are down 
to buy cheap housing in these Section 8 neighborhoods, these low-income neighborhoods, you got to use the Section 8 program, right? I mean, I, I refer to low-income neighborhoods as Section 8 neighborhoods, right? Because I believe if you're investing in a low-income neighborhood and you're not utilizing Section 8, folks, you are putting yourself at too high of a risk of non-payment. When you have non-payment, that's then, of course, going to lose you money because you're not collecting the rent, right? That's number one. Number two, you got to pay the money to evict the tenant. Number three, you got to pay the money to renovate the property. But guess what? We're in the hood. So when you have a vacant property, you know what happens oftentimes? You oftentimes have people come in and wreck your property and or steal things out of your property. So you got to re-renovate the property. Then you got to release the unit and start the process all over again. If you could eliminate the biggest problem, the spark that sets that entire fire, which is somebody not paying you your rent, almost all your problems are solved, folks. And that's why when you buy these properties, think about these properties as Section 8 properties only because going any other way in a neighborhood like this makes no sense. But if you are down to buy this property, renovate this property, you could be getting 1200 bucks a month of Section 8 rent, folks. If that sounds like a plan to you, you want to buy this sucker, send your offers to my team. Sales at HoltonWise.com includes your proof of funds. If you'd like to finance this, you could probably go to hell because of course you can't finance it, folks. There's like eight inches of water on on the floor in the basement. It's $19,000. A freaking Kia Optima costs way more than this house. You got to pay cash. If you don't have the cash, there's nothing I could do for you on this particular property. But hey, you could go ahead and book a call at my team by clicking the notes around this video, and they will talk to you about how you can work with me one-on-one -on -one in a more intimate capacity, not intimate like that. Settle down, ladies. I'm a married man, but I could work with you more closely one-on-one -on -one and we could figure out what types of properties we can get for you but for this one specifically cash investors only folks sales at holdenwise.com let's go thanks for watching subscribe to holton wise tv for more financial information education and entertainment